things. No, it's it's somewhere. I don't know cats. where I saw it. I, was it in TikTok or somewhere? And somebody, yeah. they eat cats. They eat dog. He created a song with this, you know. It was okay. very nice even song. Eat the cats. They eat the oh dogs. <laughs> eat the pets. That's too funny. <laughs> now, but a flood, or as you were calling it earlier, it's a flood. 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 It's flood. So yeah. So you know, yeah. We actually, we actually try to speak a little English in America. Not much, but the little bit we do. Flood. Um, yeah. Yeah. But the debate was hysterical when he kept talking uh, about. I'm going to eat it's, the it's, dogs and cats. And then they corrected him and go, no, um, nobody, uh, nobody has, nobody has that. Oh, not now. I'm, I'm starting a cooperation with a Polish company. Oh, okay. About, Congratulations. Uh, Hopefully they spell thanks. everything correct. So, Hey, um, look, it's the star worry. of the show. There she is, oh. everybody. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. I bought a new Welcome shitty mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, it's, uh, we can hear you very well. Yeah, we hear so, you. I like bought a new wireless store. mic, but I think it, I think it sounds like crap. No, I think we'll it's see. better than you think. Of... Yeah, it sounds really okay. good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, all you sound good. It was five. You the up. It was five bucks on Timu, so I was like, "Well, China, oh, wow. let's see." Right. Oh my god! Hey, if you're buying Timu, is like that's uh, if you're spending money on Timu, that's exciting. Yeah, but it's working, I know, and I it's, know. Uh, it sounds great. <laughs> Yeah. The question is how long it's going to work. Well, I was just going to say, we'll make it through the whole show. Like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> your place. I, have anyway. a, I have a backup. We're good. Okay. We're good. Okay. Okay. Cool. Vicky's like, I'm good. I've got it all. Well, guys, we're about to show oh, up the guys, show. Seriously. I mean, okay. I so, like so we're sending. Sleep, so. Really? Again? Yes. I, I know. Oh, you know. Vicky's a busy woman. Like, she has lots of. Things. I know. I just have insomnia. <laughs> I can't. I sleep. I can't fall asleep yeah. until late, and then I have to really? get up and Something start your else. life. Yeah. Oh, well, your life is here now. Congratulations. Pretty soon you're going to be in Korea, <laughs> where you'll be the tallest person. <laughs> right, and then my sleep schedule will be correct because I'll be sleeping, at, you know, at night. When you're supposed to be, of, yeah. Yeah. That'll be cool. So. And you may make the show <laughs> once in a while from Korea. <laughs> yes. Which will be good. So uh, I'm excited. Are we? So, are we? Wait. Are we? Uh, Oh, we just haven't hit the. We haven't done the intro yet. We're just, you know, we're just rifting right now. I don't know. As I say, you're I see recording. It. Yeah. Hey, people like the rifting, and then we start the show, and they like it too. But I find that, like, we just talk. He's we recording about without telling us that he's recording. You know, yeah. I'm just like the government. And it's, it's going to be in the show. <laughs> All this bullshit. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna know a real character, and then they're not, not gonna come anymore. They're going to come. Vicky just told me she was coming. And I told her, don't rush. So, yeah. (laughs) Just trying to help you, Vicky. So, listen. And bye. Right, right. And, you know, listen, we talked about Love Island last week. Come on. And you're going with your brother. So, let's not. uh, That's true. But the good thing is this week, no duck lips. No duck lips. So, I'm very excited. Yay, Bird's Bees. <laughs> Bird's Bees, yes. Yeah, uh, the one that destroyed me and the one that fixed me. That. Yeah, no. right. Well, yeah, they're going to be a sponsor, I think, right after the lawsuit. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when it, should we start the show right. for the fan? For the fan? Should we nah. start the show for the fan? All right. Hey, it's we have four minutes technically, but we can start. So we'll start now. All right, Let's do it. here we go. Here, let, let's say hello to the star. There she is. Okay. <laughs> Here's star. the other star. There we go. All, right. all the, the galaxy. All the all the egos are now in check. So now we can start. This is two OF Entertainment. here we are live hello hello again <laughs> hello yes hello again <laughs> i forgot to, i forgot to hit the button that sent it out to everybody steven right. yes is it is it fluid or flood <laughs> Alan, adam told me he's gonna talk about a fluid and i was like yeah a flood, is, a flood. It's there's a, a big flood. flood in central europe in in poland czech republic and austria and my hmm. uh, places in poland are hit there 
It, we're we're in, in uh, Poland though, like Wausau or where? No, no, no. It's um, Lower Silesia in Poland. Oh, okay. That means well, that it's so, uh, yes, south, sure. southwest. Oh wow! And the water is coming. There was one city totally. I mean, the two, three meters water. Wow. All the first floor. And here's what's really funny. Vanished. It's not in the news anywhere. Like I read the Financial Times, the Journal, and the New York Times this morning. Not in, not, nothing about the Polish floods. Yeah, and they're very, yeah, also in Greece, in Greece, just a little. But it's a big, very big uh, flood. Well, oh, sure, in Poland, I'm sure, because yeah. All right. Well. In general, there is a lot of problems. Now I was listening about LA fires. It's That's okay. Around. Nobody, nobody likes LA. It's okay. If LA goes away, oh come on, it's no big deal. It's fine. People there. It's all around city. I wait, mean, wait, wait. Let's 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 discuss. Who's really in LA? Did you watch the Emmys last night? I didn't. That's who's in LA. Actors. I didn't need that. They're, they're not like oh, they're not, as, Nathan Lane, as Nathan Lane said in um in actors um, and ten million more. In the producers, have you actors aren't people? Have you ever eaten with one? I agree with Nathan. So yeah, if LA burns, it's not the worst with thing. Actors. I've uh, eaten. I've, yes. I've never. I'm, I don't think they eat. I, I ate with a model once. She had a piece of lettuce and she was full. So I did it. a I did a shoot with Tyra Banks once when I lived in LA, and she. Ooh, ooh can I say this? No one yes, listens. She can. Um, yeah. But she. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she had a cup. She had like a like a like a one of those red cups. What do you call them? Like a solo cup. Yeah. In her lap, and we were doing commercial. I can't remember what it was for, but she had to eat a burger. And yeah. after every take, she'd eat her burger. And after spit. every take, she she'd spit it out yeah, of her spit cup. cup. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, most actors the burger, when they do when anything. they do a when they do a food scene, or they have a spit bucket or a spit cup because they have to do so many takes, yeah. they couldn't like yeah. eat and eat and eat. But I don't know if you yeah. you may be too young for this, and Adam's not going to know who this guy is. But Mean Joe Green, who played for the Pittsburgh Steelers back in the seventies, Vicky's oh, yeah, only like twenty five. Okay, where well, he does the Coca Cola, the, uh, the, the Coca Cola one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He drank. He drank. I read this article. He drank 25 bottles of Coca Cola to do that Good take. Yeah. And I'm he like, dude, you, after that. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, that was, that was in cocaine. That's when I think they still had cocaine in it. I mean, it was good Coke. But anyway, <laughs> um, so that was really good of Coca Cola. So well, that has nothing to do with imagination. So, yeah, so you did. That's not Vicky worked with Tyra Banks. So, I rest my case. So, if Hollywood burns down, would you miss? Is there anybody uh, you're gonna miss anybody no. there? I remember Malibu was on fire when I lived there, and um, the <laughs> I, I went out shopping and it, it was like snowing, there was so much ash in the mm -hmm. air that it was like yeah. fluttering around, it looked like snow. Oh, wow, and I was like, oh, this yeah. can't be good for my lungs, but yeah, it is bad. It's not. It's not Adam. Adam's a doctor. No, <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. Like, no. uh, it's not. Uh, you're going to die. It doesn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> As you, can you, can smell it. you can smell it that it's not good to your lungs. You know what's really funny? The first time we ever had to go to Russia for a deal was when the um, Norwegian volcano exploded. And I remember it oh, grounded flights. Wor yeah, I didn't even know there was a Norwegian. Um, but it, it, when it exploded, <laughs> It grounded all the flights for like three or four days because of the ash in the air. Oh, and I thought that gosh. was very interesting. When Mount St. Helen, of course, went up, nothing happened. Everyone's like, oh, that's a deal. But the Norwegian one Look, apparently was more important. In the, in the past, the, the volcanoes, yeah. you know, did a real damage to the crops yeah. and everything, you know, for yeah. months maybe. Look at Pompeii. Kill Hawaii? Yeah. Well, Pompeii oh. was, I mean, they were just yeah, living they, by they the destroyed. volcano. Yeah. <laughs> the same you know, happened to the Thera Santorini. Yeah, you got to know. This you... one, this one gave them uh, warnings, a lot of warnings. Yeah. So they actually left the, the island. But back. in Pompeii, it was. Uh, I saw a video somewhere that it was, you know, the the, the hours that start yeah. in the morning, and yeah. by the afternoon there was no city. It was covered by the ash and everything. So much ash. Oh, wow. So they crazy. burned people out. We f we flew over a volcano on our way to Bali once, I and mean, I'm talking like on a commercial airline, and the pilots like. Oh, and if you look over here, and he's dipping the plane to the right a little bit, he goes, you can see the whatever active volcano. I'm thinking to myself, maybe we shouldn't be flying over an active volcano in a plane. I'm just thinking, you know, I'm not a pilot or anything. And I'm like, eh, is it maybe not a good thing? I'm just thinking. Well, it, so. if, if it's, it explodes at that moment and it's a big explosion, yeah, it might have problem. But generally, I mean, what? You, you were... <laughs> Well, it depends. It's not that easy, you know. It's not that know. they explode every day. day. Personally, only when you sacrifice a virgin, am I understand. That's when they explode. That's when they go. 
I thought that keeps them from exploding. Oh, that keeps them from from exploding. You have to, you know, you have to pacify the the odds in there. All right, very good. Yeah. I like it. So So when we run out of virgins, we're in trouble. (laughs) I don't think think there's that problem with the kids today. They're all virgins (laughs) until they're like 40. So. No, you think it's true. It's all virtual, Vicky, Vicky, virtual sex. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky's a virgin. She's never been with a front animal, so she's a virgin. So oh, ooh, <laughs> no, it's it's too early for me to even. I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till she's in Korea and she's more away. I have my I... have my first uh, PSL of the season. My pumpkin spice latte. I'm mainlining these to, now. Did you go to Starbucks and get that? No, no. It's Trader Joe's has a uh, concentrate uh, jug thing you can buy. And yeah. Hmm. So, oh, you see? Have a pumpkin spice. Wow. He's very got good, a Japanese good. coffee. And why can't you could buy a whole bunch of it and just have it year out? I do. I go, I make a run like once a year and I, I buy, I, I load up and last okay. about but six months. You can't, okay. it's not special if it's not in the season. You know what I mean? Like, oh. You don't want to have Halloween candy for Easter. You got to go by the seasons. That's what makes the seasons fun. Is you look forward to the next, like really? seasonal thing, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. No. I don't. Yeah, Adam. No, yeah. I don't know. Seasonal things, seasonal foods, seasonal holiday, seasonal whatever. It's like, oh, I'm so excited. There's corn on the cob for summer, and like, you know, Christmas cookies. Oh, when I go to Korea, I don't follow those food. so no. much. When you go to Korea, they have these now? fish buns only only in the oh winter. They have they have these they they sell roasted chestnuts like it's yeah. some Victorian shit. And you know they have the little machine and they roast the chestnuts you can have right there or like these fish buns, which is like pancake batter and these old fashioned iron molds. And they pour it in there and they squeeze a red bun or a red bean or like custard in it and they slap it together and you get it. it's all like charcoal on the edges and everything and it's melting the the bag you get it in and it's like 20 degrees outside and you're eating your hot buns <sighs> now is it real or did you use imagination as a topic here no. <laughs> you made real. up all oh, this is real this sounds i really mean good. i can i can remember it i can well no that's a memory that's not imagination and what they eat it they eat it like uh when when is, when is it is just a christmas bun type of thing it's a winter thing. It's a winter thing. Okay. Because so it's, it's, like a, it's like a little virgin. Yeah, it's like once in, it's in your imagination that you'll have a virgin. Well, just say, what's see, what's up with the virgin, <laughs> Stephen? Well, <laughs> well, we talked about volcanoes, and now I'm thinking that we have to go get a bunch of virgins. How do you connect volcanoes volcano. with virgins? Because isn't that like the mythical lore is that to, to, to appease the volcano well, gods, you throw a virgin into the volcano. Yeah. Well, we could throw David into the volcano then. You throw like a David into the volcano and it saves David, the world. David is in the volcano islands right now. He's in the Canary Islands. Yeah. Let's he, hold on. Be, doesn't explode. Well, but I think well, those it, don't explode anymore right uh, now. It, but if it did and he did it live, can you imagine the ratings? See, he's got to learn to take one for the team. Like when there's a tsunami or something, I don't know why he just doesn't get in the car and just drive to it and we do it live. And he could be in the car and his car will just go with the waves and he could be in it. It'd be no, very cool. why are you, what, are you addicted to catastrophes? I don't know. Well, I'm with the Illuminati lizard people. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> we it like that. say stuff. anything. Yeah. So, Those right, things so you don't say, you act like you are like. Oh, one. no. I, I love everybody. Oh shit. Anyway, um I think the world's like a great place. <laughs> so all right, so we're gonna talk about imagination today. So what 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 do we Yes, about? the only good nation is imagination. That's sometimes I read on the Okay on the walls. I've never oh, well, <laughs> what walls are you reading on, my friend? So, I don't know. What walls come across me? <laughs> I oh, okay. don't choose them. <laughs> they choose Interesting. me. Like, Interesting. <laughs> But it's a it reminds me of the song Gene Wilder song. The the from um not is it Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I always get the ones the the old one and the new one, I get them confused, the title, but the Gene Wilder imagination song. No, no, no. Willy no, no, Wonka, no. it's Willy Wonka. Is it Willy, Willy Wonka, Wonka the old yeah. one? Yeah, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Charlie and the, it's just, the, the new Charlie one. And the Chocolate Factory yeah. is the brand new one, and they have an imagination song. And Johnny Depp one, I don't think had an imagination song, but the Gene Wilder, oh. I think, did. Gene Wilder, I like the, the classic. 
And with Gene Wilder is little... number one. Is is like is the number one chart is the number one Willy Wonka for me, and then the one that just came out with um, whatever with is the second one, and then the Johnny Depp is my third one. Johnny Depp, thought, he, he played Willy Wonka. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like Johnny as nope. an actor, but only in certain roles. Some roles, like Willy Wonka, was interesting, but just I don't know. Like he was I, good I, in yeah. the very old movies. Now. I it depends know. which movie. I, you know what movie was underrated and I really liked him in? The Taurus with Angelina Jolie. And that? Mm, Johnny Depp? Yeah. Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. It was that a movie was... called The Taurus. It was a very good movie. I enjoyed it, but they panned it. And I'm like, why? This is a good movie. Why are you panning this movie? This is a great movie. Mm. So I loved him in Chocolat. So good. Oh, that, I love the chocolate in Chocolat. Yeah. <laughs> well, a movie that he played, and there was a lot of imagination because he used to cooperate with uh, Tim Burton. Yes. Oh, John, uh, scissor uh, hand. Scissor hand. Yeah. Yeah. Hands. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good movie. This, this was a lot of imagination yeah. in the movie. Yeah. But uh, what would what would uh, imagination is one of the aspects of the human psyche that uh, or property. Right. That uh, what we would do with that imagination? I mean, we use it everywhere. Mind. We use we it in science. Mind. We do because to do science, you need imagination. Every mm. in every in every activity you of your life, you life. need imagination. But don't you, you think need... people imagine every day? Like they, they do, look at a cloud the and they go, "Oh, the cloud looks like a dog or an elephant." That's kind of imagination. Well, yeah, think. but what is it? What is the imagination? How would you? express it to somebody i mean an alien comes and you say oh i've got imagination what is well, this? there's an there's imagination? an imagination right there um <laughs> so that he no, understands he, he says to you <laughs> tell, me, tell me if i'm 10 year old what is imagination imagine that's a you know that's a very good imagination is just something you make mm. up right that you dream of i think Dicky, what's your what? How do you think of imagination? You see how how hard it is to 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 express what imagination oh, is. Well, after enough scotches, I can see pink elephants, so it doesn't matter. But yeah. So, what do you think imagination is, Ricky? That's a good question. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I know we got the topic Thanks. early, and I still didn't think about defining it. I mean, I guess to me, it's a uh, something that your mind is capable of creating its own reality but then again reality only exists in your mind right adam it's not right. you know it's perception is you create whatever your own reality is i guess it's it's part of creation like the first step of creation is imagination so i would say that's like okay. the seed oh i think you need idea. it all the time i mean when you work when Anything. you have an idea for example like lynch was saying that mm -hmm. the uh, director that you you don't create ideas you fish them so they are all around somewhere, wow. and you fish them. Here's a good, here's uh, Marion Webster. Here, here's Marion know, Webster's it. thing. The but you need you need imagination in every aspect of your life. I mean, I if you're an artist, you need imagination to start creating. But if when you create, you also use imagination. What if it's something that you uh, do with your mind? It's a property of the mind, as you said. So it's a mind state. You can touch it. You can smell it. You can show me your imagination. You can show me. You can, you can show me uh, the outcome of something that you've imagined. But uh, then you put also your logic to to express it into something uh, that is material, probably, or something that is visible that somebody else can see. But even that, it doesn't explain the imagination. That's an outcome. Wait, wait, here. I've got two definitions for you. Here's two definitions of imagination. Okay. The act or power okay. of forming a mental image of something not present to the senses or has never been wholly perceived in reality. Or imagination is the process of developing theories and ideas based on the function of the mind through a creative division. Drawing an actual perception, imagination employs inaccurate conditions processes the engage both um, semantic and episode memories to generate new or related ideas there you go that's the definitions of imagination yeah but Which but is it look thing. because is it the imagination of everybody's it cannot be accessed by somebody else so are we talking about the total different world than the one objectively we're uh, living in or it's 
one world and just part of it are like locked into itself like we have like our dreams because the dreams are actually um imagination also of the mind Correct. of the sub subconscious mm -hmm. like, at least how i'm perceiving it and uh it's in use during some moments of your sleep when you don't control anything right what, what do you control actually just part of the dream you're just part of the but first okay you're the protagonist but it doesn't mean anything you you're experiencing things that you don't know what we will experience All right. And, uh, but the same happens when you you are, you can put your your mind into something because for example when I'm working on a work on an artwork I put my mind into it so I'm focusing right. on, on this but what kind of ideas and imagination will be used I don't know actually right. so uh, so are we talking about imagination is it something different is it a different world than the one that it's trying to express into material or is it a world actually? Would you, you say there's a difference between imagination and creation then? Or no, there are things that are connected. Okay. Yes. For me, for me, everything is connected. I don't separate those worlds. That's okay. what I'm saying, that there has to be one world. Okay. Even this world, the, the, my world, my imagination cannot be accessed by you and the other way around. Mm -hmm. I cannot access Vicky's imagination. In or fact, she cannot to. access her own imagination. <laughs> it just came, comes like a surprise. Like a, like a you are, You're putting your, your, your mind into a, a, a way. Right. You are putting, oh, I go this way, but this way is very uh, wide. Right. You don't know what kind of ideas mm -hmm. you will fish, as Lynch was okay. saying. Mm -hmm. So, so we're talking about the like property. You. We're talking about a yeah. property that is, it's, look, I don't know if other animals have, they, they probably do have, but probably not that rich as we have. And this is because of our brain, our, our processing mechanism. Because yeah, of the octopuses brain is, and dolphins are smarter than we are, so they probably have a better imagination. Well, we have to define what is smarter than other, because for sure, it, we are more advanced because we have created those kind of uh, cities right. and civilizations and we change the civilization but you're, all the so time. You're, but you're both artists. So let me ask you this question. So when you're creating something, are you creating or are you using your imagination to create? Yeah, but what's the difference? Ooh. I mean, creating I is, look, th those are uh, concepts. Mean, we are trying yeah. to strip, strip down the concepts into more objective things so that we can all understand. Right. Uh, you need both. Cre yeah. Creation is the act is a whole act of the of the creating. I mean, okay. even yeah. even when you it haven't started, started with... painting, you already mm. are painting in a way in your mind with your imagination. Because oh, I'm thinking about doing this artwork, which will be about a face, which will show I don't know happiness, part of it happiness, ha half of it not mm. happiness, sadness, and in the same mm. picture, you see, I'm already using my imagination in the same picture. Mm. Uh, I will try to uh, portray the happiness uh, with different style and the sad one with different style, different colors and shapes. You see, this is imagination, but I've already put myself into a road and then ideas come and I take them okay. and throw them. But those create imagination. This is the process of imagination, of coming up of, with things, but it's already started the uh, creating process. It's already created. You're already creating. Now, if you, of course, don't put it into something material so other ca can objectively see it even, even if it's digital it's right, still right. material because you will perceive it with your sense for with your eyes for example okay. so it's material if i can see it right. it's kind of material okay. either if it's leds if it's photons doesn't matter but it's material okay Vicky? it means yeah sorry no no it's okay i i just was thinking that for me like I get blocked a lot of time if I don't have an inspiration first, like something has to spark that. So I think like inspiration is the seed and then that sets off my imagination. And then I start thinking of those things. Like I have to have something to spark my imagination. There has to be some kind of like little, okay. little flame. I don't just like, you know, do that on my, on my own, really. I can be blocked if I don't have something like that. And then then the imagination starts. And then the third part of the process for me would be creation would be the act, the action verb. So my imagination can just float around in my head and never 
be manifest in something material, like Adam said, unless the creative, unless there's creation, which is the third part of that formula okay. for me. So I can imagine, I'll, you know, I could, like you said, go outside and look at look at clouds, but it's just my imagination, like you're sort of keeping that muscle going, but All it right. doesn't actually do anything until I manifest it physically through creation. Okay. Of something. Are you really manifesting it though, or are you just drawing it out? Oh, it's the same Ooh, thing. No, no. Manifesting. If you watch all these people, I manifested a Porsche. That's much different than <laughs> I'm gonna like look at something and I'm gonna draw or write about it. I'm not manifesting. I mean, I'm actually you doing can't, something. You can't, well, it, you it can't is the same it. thing. It's not gonna happen. Well, no, I can imagine. No, no. I mean, all these people, they can imagine. You can doing, imagine. You know, yeah, but the, yeah. so there's a difference between imagining it and then manifestation yeah. because all these people that yeah. go, I teach you how to manifest and how to become a billionaire. Right. But you still yeah. have to go work. You can imagine being a billionaire, right. but if you don't you go work, you have yeah, nothing. Action, but even, right. even action, it, right. the, way to, yeah. the way to go there with practice, you still need imagination in every step mm -hmm. because you say, oh, I'm going to do this. You already use imagination. Oh, I'm going to do this and do this because... I came, I came with an idea that if I do this, I have more uh, uh, possibilities to to become this millionaire or something like that. Right. What, of my, wait, uh, it's not manifestation. It's 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 like it, I have a dream. It is. Oh, it is. somebody else had a dream once too. But you have a dream, and then you start creating and imagining, and you work your way to the dream. You don't really manifest it. You just right. work. It's I don't. I, this manifest stuff to me is a bunch of bullshit. Pardon my French, because. You can manifest all day and believe it, but if you don't put action towards it, you can't do anything. But manifest, what does manifest for me? Action. The words. No, Look, it isn't. Have you, you say a word? You say Instagram manifesting. And on exactly. And all that crap? And it's in not, my mind, it, it yeah. comes up. It comes up as a as imagination. I'm trying to right. think about the, the the meaning of the word, and for me, manifesting is action. Okay, but see, action. your definite manifestation is different than all these, if you will gurus who go if you manifest you'll be stop it you have to work hard you have to think you have to be smart now you can have an imagination and in your mind you can say if this happens i'm going to do blah, 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 blah. but you actually have to make it happen you just can't sit there and like it's the old joke where the guy prays every week to god and goes god you know I've manifested and i've imagined winning the powerball oh god and every week and finally god goes listen if you don't buy the ticket, I can't help you. And that when these people talk about manifestation, that's what I think of it. They're all sitting there thinking that some magical spirit is going to no, come no, no. For and me, drop it in their lap. Manifestation is the expression. I mean, there is act involved. Not, in not, the, not if you look at these idiots on Instagram and LinkedIn that are all trying if to sell a book. Put them aside. They're not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's, if we put them aside, choice. then yes. That's, okay. Put them yeah, aside. Well, yeah. Yeah. Like this. What was yeah. the one? Was secrets the book secrets? You man, oh please, give me a break! I think for those people that have no confidence, you know what? She manifested no, money from selling that book. So well, she didn't manifest shit. Get. She sold a book and got and said, "What are people stupid about? Oh, they're stupid about this. I'll write a book on to stupid people because stupid people will buy it because they don't want to work. That's they want something group. free for nothing, huh? That's a target group." That's you right. Stupid people. Those people. That's that's, yeah. that's okay. Three billion people on the planet. Stupid people. I got it. So I'm gonna yeah, write but uh, <laughs> there's a lot of bullshit thing going on, so they can choose from a lot of bullshit things. I right. mean, there's a big competition there. <laughs> right. No, no, I get that. But you don't really get a, you don't really get a book. You know, if you wrote a book on how to work and how to work hard, think smart, and become a billionaire, no one's buying that book because it starts with must work hard, which and smart. You have to do both. And it doesn't mean you have to do physical labor, but you may have to work a hundred hour work week. You may have I feel to do like this. That book you have to do that. Well, yeah, but it, it exists by all these guys that have no clue anymore. You know, like Jeff Bezos writing a book is useless because what he forgets to tell you in his book or any of their books, even Musk is like one, a lot of luck played part of why they are where they are. And I'm, and I'm, you know, if you have money, luck is a big thing unless you inherited it from your, your parents, right? If you made your own, there was something that was, that happened that you were very lucky and that luck, you, you took advantage of it and you moved it forward. In Microsoft's case, 
than buying their codes. Yeah, back but, but the people don't grand, read. Right? Uh, sometimes they don't read uh, the biographies just to, to uh, so that they become Jeff Bezos instead of Jeff Bezos. Yeah, they're they're uh, actually uh, it's uh, about the topic. When we read books, any kind of books, even biographies, right. we use imagination. We try to imagine the life of. of you mean, you, you, we take. I don't. Something like kind of a taste it. of being or becoming an, a billionaire, becoming you know no. very. I just read a book about Winston Churchill and FDR and um, Eisenhower. Okay, it talks about their relationship. I imagined nothing. I just enjoyed the read. When I read a book, I'm not imagining. But when you read, you imagine what you're reading. I, this is no, no, I just read the, I read, I read the words. Default. I'm like, okay. I mean, no, I don't have it like um, I don't have a picture in my mind of what's doing. I just read the book. I'm like, oh, it's very cool. Hey, your so mind a, makes a picture immediately. Right. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's not an imagination. I don't go, oh, I wish. If I read a book of about how it to be successful, or how, how else would it happen? That's like why I'm saying words, that we have page. more advanced imagination than any okay. kind of animal because they don't, for example, read books because they cannot m manifest what they are <laughs> reading, for example, right. because it's already an act. It's already an act. I mean. Not everything that we think is like right. uh, it's also also an act because otherwise you are just doing things without thinking. I mean, okay, okay. some conscious. Why did you do this? I don't know. Mm. But this is a wrong thing doing because if you're building a house and you're not thinking, right. <laughs> then you're not putting, you know, also your imagination. Like, but with the data that you, we have, right. the first earthquake or uh, the flood was going to swipe up your what? house. Right. The flood, flood, the flood, the flood, flood is flood. going to swell. I you. I, I'm not making fun of you. It's just that before the show, we were joking okay. about it. So, so it's cute. But it is. That, uh, that's I'm, why I'm telling you that the, <laughs> you need this. You need you, you. We were using imagination all the time, <laughs> and it's a mental stuff. It's a mental. Yeah, but we don't mental. manifest with our manifestate. Right, so if I imagine building a house, I go we to are, an architect, we are now, and the architect, I go draw me a blueprint. He draws it. I give it to a general contractor and he builds my house. I didn't manifest Jack. What I did is I paid some guy that went to 14 years of school to draw straight lines. And I go, now I want you to imagine my blah, blah, blah room in this room. And he draws it out and I give it to someone who builds it. Now the builder isn't manifesting crap. He's actually doing. Um, and then when it's done, my, if will, if you will, my creation, my dream, my imagination of what my home is going to look like is done and i had a small part in it so but there's no manifestation there because me manifestation look at there, there's but manifestation but look at the no, definition of manifestation person. since you're stuck on it exactly. look, on, look and see exactly. what that exactly says yeah because we are uh, i think you're getting around with a, with a, with a notion it. of manifestation for for me every kind of uh expressing something either even if it's inside your head it's manifestation in a way because okay. It looks like from nothing you're doing something, so it's a manifestation, even if it's inside your head, okay. because I don't think that this is lost. Nothing is lost. Actually, every thought that you have, I think that it it, it still somehow it's it's like a process for me, the way that I oh. imagine it, right? And okay, I'm manifesting so these, it already. So these idiots that are scamming the public are using manifestation all wrong, because the manifestation is an act, an event an action or an object that clearly shows or embodies something, especially in the theory of any abstract idea, the action or fact of showing an abstract idea. Oh, so these guys are just making up what manifestation yes. is. It's not there. Yes. Okay. So manifestation is put that aside, put it aside. Okay, so if There's... I put that aside, then theoretically yes. manifestation and imagination are interchangeable. Yes. Okay. Then if I in put way, all the yeah. scam crap aside, yes, yes uh, in a way, okay. yes, because it's already yeah. an act that uh, that happens, that's happening, right. that might also lead later, might, because not mm -hmm. all my ideas and imaginations, they come out as material, as artwork, as, yeah, right. look, uh, we are, I'm using as an artwork in my uh, specialty, let's say, right. but we are manifesting things all the time, we are manifesting things right now. People are manifesting their uh, man ability to throat, think, you know, to, to imagine, to because imagination comes, and then you also think: Are those the same thing? They are of the same kind because they are mental states. You cannot touch your thoughts. You cannot touch your imagination. They're okay. intertwined, and your manifestation also. When you talk about it right now, because we are imagining, and it's it's happening very instantly, and then right. we're saying it out. It's already an act of manifestation. 
So wait, let me give you this next, next little thing. So this is this, in my mind, this is the scamming part of manifestation where people buy the books. Man, this is, this is, what does it mean when you are manifesting? Oh my God. Manifesting is the idea uh, through the power of belief, you can effectively think of goal into becoming a reality. It is a form of, and this is, and so to Vicky's point, I'm glad we read the definition, is a form of magical thinking um, or the need to believe that one's hope and desires can have an effect on how the world turns. So basically, yeah, it's, it's magical. It, it's magical when we speak right. uh, uh, metaphysically, f philosophically, right. when you're a materialist, because how can right. material, ma material, any kind of material, can give right. birth to imagination, which doesn't have any kind of right. material? But how does it have? It's magical. But these other people this are is, this is the problem of materialists. Right. And if you say from the idealist world, everything is mental, that means right. you're already. You're already into imagination, into something like well, imagination. You're, so if you do by the proper definition of manifestation, then you're basically just having imagining writing a book. I'm also manifesting it because it becomes an abstract idea and I go do it. But the magical, really, they shouldn't use manifestation in these books. They should call it what it really is, magical thinking. So it's the it's the it's the make believe. That's what that is. So when they go, you can manifest a, a Lamborghini. No, that's magical thinking. It's not manifesting. Hard work, smart work, all that that you can manifest because according to the definition by Miriam, that's what it becomes. It's like I have an abstract idea. I'm going to so make you exclude like right. great things without too work. much hard work. I, I tell you that there have been many yeah. artworks, really great. Right. I was that happened without much work. I mean, into uh, physical ma expression, like you are saying, manifestation. But right. the main work has been done here in the mind. Yes, I, agree I mean, with that. I, I, I had a teacher, he was uh, teaching me kind of a painting, and he we were talking about mediums, and we were talking about aquarellas, you know, which is a medium that you use water, and and this is, is also a specific medium that uh, he was saying, look, you're gonna, let's divide the time you're, for creation, for everything that right. you want to do, and you look at something, divide your time into 10, and right. uh, leave the nine on into looking and thinking, and only one, one tenth into doing because okay. that's the, the, the nature of the med medium it dries very fast because on water but you have to have the image in your mind so it's got to become your imagination in a way like copying what you're looking at in a way and then you become a filter your imagination right. is the filter one of the filters that you have then is your thinking mm -hmm. that then you start to, mm, okay i imagine this way but then into practice starts thinking a lot of things are happening all right but those look how intertwined is the the magical right. with the practical which is not magical because you say but it is magical because you've came you've come to the manifestation as you give the rise to mm -hmm. the world from a thinking that is quite abstract in general because what is thinking We've right. done some shows about thinking. We've mm -hmm. done a lot of shows about that. But I'm trying to 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 point the the mental nature of imagination, which, which is totally in the mental. There's nothing. No, you cannot touch imagination. What is imagination? Right. I agree with what you. Is, we, we don't have. We we. Uh, I mean the 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 uh, science. Mm -hmm. will just tell you s stories like narratives. We don't have right. a definition. It's mental state. Right. That's what it is. You cannot touch it. You can you can only, as you say, manifest it with work, hard work, right. or or not hard work, any kind of work. <laughs> but there's so a difference between. So that objectifies. But you mean the, the, the manifestation is the ob objectifying things? Yes. Because subjectifying things means that I'm having the imagination, a dream, right. but I'm not speaking about it. I'm not making it outside, so nobody knows. Right. Only me. But it doesn't matter because you are part of the nature. Everybody, I, every one of us. But I even think, if you look, most of your life you don't express yeah. it, or at mean, or at least you express it, but nobody is watching. Right, right. You are the the, the 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 watcher. You are the audience of your stuff. The main audience of your life is you yourself, right. not the others. We <laughs> we like do many here. things for the others. <laughs> we do many things like we become we go to a plastic cure to take off the wrinkle or the better face or uh, I don't know. We put Botox and everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we experiencing <laughs> our our our, our uh, face in the mirror, but most yeah. of the of the thing is for the others, so the others can look around, right? I guess. But but most of our lives, what we mm -hmm. do, 
it's we go to the toilet, we eat, we're we're doing we are I, do the, I go to the restroom, I go to the loo for other people, not for me. I do this. Or I'm going, look, <laughs> think about it. You're sitting working, you're alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are experiencing yourself. You are the audience of what is really going on. But I'm a good you are audience, part of the universe. I can see you. <laughs> if yeah. you were not here, objectively, yeah. like yeah. Vicky and Adam is now looking at you. We know that you are here because you Maybe. look like us. Okay, in a different version. <laughs> Do with your own, And you have your own uh, reality. But this reality is part of the bigger reality. Where right. they meet, I don't know. Probably right. they meet somewhere in a different level of uh, mental state of existence. Yeah. yeah. Probably right. after so, we, we we die or something. So I like think that. we can. I think we can agree then that creativity or manifestation, creativity and imagination, if you will, are kind of in this bubble here because that gets you that produces a final product, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Mm -hmm. it, it produces a product. Magical thinking which is all these stupid books that you're going to magically think yourself into being a multi-trillionaire bullshit. And now what it may do is give you the self-confidence because now you believe you're going to become a trillionaire that gives you the self-confidence right. to do things. Maybe you would have not normally done, but you're not manifesting yeah. it. You are magically thinking it. There is a big difference between creativity, magic, um, manifestation and imagination and then this magical thinking. So the book Secrets isn't about manifestation. It's about magical thinking. And then they brainwash the public because the public doesn't know how to read, you know, a dictionary. Well, you give too many par whatever. parameters into this. There are so many, because you put a lot, like, a judgment, like, oh, I like this, I don't like this. It doesn't I matter what nobody. we're talking. Quite this is an after, after. <laughs> even, even judging something is putting yeah. imagination into it because you are, oh, I don't like this uh, psychological reaction from people. That means right. that this, and the, you're instantly thinking this is stupid action. Because, yeah. but you're already judging. This is the next right. level of imagination and manifestation. Okay. This is also manifestation. Okay, Vicky, what do you got? Be Vicky's going to say something. Well, I was thinking. Adam made me think of something that it's like. Congratulations. <laughs> I was thinking about imagination and how it relates to empathy and sympathy. And I think the more you can use your imagination, the better you are at imagining things, the more okay. sympathetic of a person you'll be. You know, empathy, you have to have that experience to be able to relate to someone. But you can mm -hmm. be sympathetic to anyone if you can imagine yourself in their place. Oops, and sorry. that in turn you know, breeds a, a kinder, gentler society and world as a whole, if you can sympathize with people. And that now, is, that's some magical that thinking right the there. <laughs> well, I don't think it's magical. <laughs> that's some magical it's thinking. Magical because for, for me, more magical Lord. is the manifestation of, of uh, yes. the, 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 the reality as material. This, this is more right. magical to me. Not the... Uh, mental, I mean, the, the all the mental properties that we have, like imagination, uh, emotion. The thing that uh, uh, Vicky is saying is the richer imagination you have, the more possibilities you have to imagine yourself being at the shoes of somebody else. That's right. empathy, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. this guy is in pain. Well, now I can see. To, because empathy if, is this, you've already experienced that too. So I can relate to someone who. Or, or I mean, I mean, look, empathy you don't need to burn yourself exactly. knowing that the fire is burning. You can, you have watched it, other people burning, and you imagine yourself. Oh my God, I know what pain is that's because empathy, we know what though. pain is. Yes. Everybody. Well, actually, knows. that's not really true, and because I, I, I was blown up, and forty-eight percent of my body was burnt with third and fourth degree. So no, you don't know. You imagine, <laughs> you can't imagine or you that. can manifest it, um, but you have no clue of what that pain is until you really experience it. Because when you burn your little finger on the stove, that's nothing to where you have third and fourth degree. There's six yeah, degrees of burns, but I didn't know until I got blown up. nothing, but your right? imagination, so. your imagination makes a good job looking at the guy screaming. I mean, oh my God, I'm not going to do this. Well, like no what he did. When you get, let me tell because you, when somebody you are, jump when into you, fire and starts, oh, yeah. oh, oh, and say, oh, when you, when you do get, I have to do the same up, to know the, what a, he experienced? I know it's, it's awful. I can see it. 
It's, not, it's so a whole different. It's kind of cool. They give, yeah, they give but you lots of drugs. And, yeah. Um, no, so. imagine imagine this thing that I'm talking about. A guy yeah, goes it. and runs into fire. You are not yeah. doing. Okay, he's in pain. You can see from his yeah. reaction. Do you have to do oh. the same to? No, you don't have yes. to. <laughs> you can't imagine yes. the pain though. Here's the thing. When people it, get you're, burned, it's like you're saying, look, I've been into fire. You don't know what this pain is. So you have to do correct. the same. I say, okay, but I'm not stupid no, enough. Don't. I don't know what it is, but I don't want it. I imagine it, that it's no, no, something I get that. bad. I get that. <laughs> let, me, let me put it like Shitty, right, okay. it is bad. Pain <laughs> bad. But here's what I, you know, when people like, when they get little burns or like, oh, I bur I'm like, I look at them. I'm like, really? You get a little burn there? Oh, did it hurt you? I'm thinking when you get, a, no, a this is a different of kind burn. of. This is different. This is different, right, right. different so my point uh, is, is that you, when people go, oh, I can imagine the pain. I'm thinking to myself, you can't yeah. imagine squat because whatever you think you can imagine, it's going to be, especially in the, when I was got blown up and the the pain was a million times worse than you can ever imagine. And two, and I wouldn't want anybody matter. to experience it. it, it then it's you enough. Can't experience it's that. enough for imagination. To not do no, it, <laughs> you see, that's not how imagination really. also also not works. Really. It's one of the realities you can, you can, of imagination. You can kind of think about it, but I mean, you go, I think I know how that feels, but you really don't know. It's like men go, I can imagine what it's like to give birth. No, probably not. Now, when we pass a kidney stone through our penis, then we're like, oh my god! And the woman's like, that's what it's like, right? So there's a little difference. Yeah, but we in there. we so know by the versus sympathy. Yeah, yeah, right. One is experience, but even, and one even, is imagination. And not only this, you have <laughs> two people that's who no, it's you have two people. Yeah, the big difference is, and look, you are never going right. to pass to the others exactly what you're thinking or what you're feeling or whatever right. any kind of pain. You cannot. We only imagine. Uh, the others or their pain or their sadness or their happiness we can only mm -hmm. imagine from our experience we take into granted that we have some kind of similar mm -hmm. perception of the world right, but right. it's true we are never going to imagine others uh, what others are feeling exactly because we cannot access them access the internal world right, right, right. which is mental yeah yeah, well, but we pieces. are objective fine. this is the way <laughs> that's why we are manifesting we're expressing things later uh, because we say, hey, guy, look, don't do this because I did right. this. And this is a shitty thing to do. But and that's not say, a manifestation. Why? That's, just, because, that's look, just experience. I'm not, I'm not, like, I don't go, don't manifest Experience is manifestation in a not way. Not really. Yeah. No, according to the definition. What is experiences? Ex experiences what, what are experiences? is something we've actually done and lived through and you have an experience of it. Like, hey, I, don't, I don't know what it's like life. to run. Right, but I don't know what it's like to run a country during World War II. I'll never have that. Those experience. are sub sub things of life, of activities of life. This is, right. this, I mean, we're talking about very basic. Like okay. everything that you do is kind of manifestation. What kind of manifestation of life? Okay. You're manifesting I I life. Whatever you do, it. you're manifesting life. You're you're playing inside the laws that life has has given you in a specific. Okay. Uh, configuration. I mean, you're a human, you can do those things, a dog can do other things, <laughs> right. but you're manifesting your, <laughs> your, 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 <laughs> human, your human experience right. from your experience. own point of view. Right. And one of the manifestations are yeah. uh, the things that you imagine. Okay. I can go with that. And, and it guess. looks, it, it, it's not that it's uh, what Vicky was saying about the uh, inspiration stuff. It's also imagination, of course. It's it's right, right. other kind of manifest. But I imagination comes also during the, and even if you finish your artwork, you go and look and you're an audience to your artwork. And what do you use? Imagination also. And see, mm. Mm, I see here, I didn't notice that I was doing this because subconscious also works all the time. Right. You cannot get away with it. Even if you're awake, it, it right. works all the time. That's why you, you come with ideas because subconsciously they come and then they become conscious and, and stuff like this. It's all connected so much and so mm -hmm. fast. It's all the time. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm saying that manifestation is all the time. Even when you sleep, you're manifesting. What you're manifesting? I don't know if you're nature, manifesting nature. anything. You're just, you're sleeping and, you're, and you have a subconscious that helps you dream. You are manifesting and, even when you're sleeping because you're doing something. That. You're doing something. I'm, I'm, what you're doing, I'm, I'm sleeping. you're doing something <laughs> of, of, of what nature. Manifesting. Look, look, you are nature. Everyone is I'm, nature. You cannot get out of nature. Everything that exists is manifestation of nature.
Well, then if, we, if we're going with that hypothesis, then basically we're all part of the absolute. No, it's uh, – you have and to take we're all this energy. Up, it, it, No, no, I, I got think, that. Basically, yeah. if you're going to look at quantum – now you're going to get into quantum theory and you're going to get into the absolute and you're going to get into everybody's energy – and theoretically, then we're all tied together. But you cannot, you cannot escape it. You cannot, you cannot no, I agree escape with that. it. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think I am interested. I'm interested into th those things yeah. because you you carry them all the time. It's it's the only mm -hmm. thing that you have actually. You are born, yeah. and even before, yeah. and even after yeah. your death, with these things, the, the manifestation of nature. Right. And or then the we absolute. use imagination and we, we create art and we're saying what is life all the time. What what we're really expressing all the time is what is life. Even through yeah. artworks. If we're I don't think I really ever asked that anymore. Working, I'm, even through working. I, that's yeah. life. That's yeah. life. But I don't ask that anymore. I don't go, what is life? Life is to be lived. And then when something happens, I'm like, it is what it is. I agree. And that's what life is. Life is yeah, but you can go deeper mystery. because no you can start thinking that okay, but I'm doing these things. What? Why right. the fuck I'm doing those things? I like those things. Why do I like them? You right. see, you start going with your imagination, right. like like you're a shrink or somebody. The shrink needs to use a lot of imagination when it is working with patients. I thought you read for or that. or any kind of doctor, <laughs> any kind of work needs to. Okay. But imagine the uh, uh, psychiatrist or a okay. psychologist. They need to. I can't, work ima I can't imagine because I just think they're the dumbest people on the planet. Hey, like, you uh, can. I don't understand why people. You need put to go some kind of them. judgment into them. I don't know why they're stupid. Or they some are stupid, some I'm are not. Why, why are you judging those? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. What, but she's what judging is? all the time. The stupid, the stupid. What's the definition Listen. of stupid? Well, a psychologist. <laughs> what, uh, psychology is stupid. That, that's that's, that's that stupid to say. Or, that is stupid thing to say. Uh, I mean, listen, why every psychologist, every psychiatrist, is stupid. <laughs> so, listen. Here's how I look at Vicky. What were you going to say? Because uh, I'll go off on a tangent. Nothing. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, nothing. I was just laughing. Okay. Go ahead. I, no, I, I mean, anything. I have. I get a kick out of people when they say I talk to my psychologist or my or my shrink or this or that. I'm thinking. If you had friends or a dog, you can talk well, to them. It'll be the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but the reason they don't have an hour. the reason they don't have is that they have problems of making I friends. I have a problem. You know, it's a, I don't, it's a, it's make, a I don't problem. like people either. And I have scotch and cigars and a dog, and they talk well, to me. Well, it works for you. Works it doesn't yeah, mean it works for yeah. others. Yeah, it doesn't look. Perfect. The look. only friends I have are you and Vicky. <laughs> in one way you're saying Dave. nobody can nobody, nobody can access my uh, pain or right, right. when you say pain it means right. also any kind of mental activity right. like uh, having a good time like having c cigars and sex or whatever whoa 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 sex I agree well, it, the if something works for you because find. you're some kind of entity yeah. that's different than others doesn't mean that it works <laughs> for others yeah but it's just everybody's wrapped and wrapped a little different, right? So, like well, my some other some are some aren't wrapped at all. I know, right? So, Those like my different. humor is very Groucho Mark British Northeastern humor, and some people like it, and some people don't. Other people this and that. So it's the same thing. So I think when I have pain, um, I destroy a third world country. But and then when I'm done with that, I have to feel better. You know, I'll talk. To, I talk to my dog. I have a scotch and a cigar. But when I'm and to your point, stressed out, instead of calling a psychologist or ridiculous, I'd rather sit outside and take a two minute, two hour mini holiday with a cigar and just Yeah, but maybe they've tried and it and doesn't effort. work. Maybe they've never tried it because they say smug is bad. Maybe they can. You. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe they should. Maybe they have tried and it doesn't work. You don't know. Right. You don't know. don't know. You don't have. You're the never stressed. Look at you. You you smoke away while we're on the show, and you drink a little vino, and you're doesn't happy doesn't doesn't good. help all the time. Doesn't help all the time. Sometimes <laughs> That's why you have a, Sometimes you are in a mental state. Right, right. That nothing works. That's nothing true. Works. I've been in those states before. It's uh, Kentucky, Ohio, uh, Michigan. There's those states. Yeah, nothing works there. You're like screwed. Arkansas, it's the worst. Yeah. I then you try you other avenues. And you look, Arkansas. You go. need sometimes you need a psychiatrist or a psychologist, yeah. which might help. Maybe, might help. You, it's not well, sure that they will. It's in because it also it also starts with the uh, for me with the notion that you want to be helped that you want true. somebody to help you or a psychiatrist somebody else anybody even a help a friend or somebody. But back Sometimes back in the closed. day, though, weren't, weren't, weren't people go speak to their and I don't they don't do it today. But 
back in the day, you would go speak to your clergy, whether it was a priest or a pastor or a rabbi. Yeah, they, uh, that's they clerk. Were. Is it? These yeah. people are trained medical professionals that can help you with if you've yeah. got a chemical imbalance in your brain, they can oh, prescribe you some medication. No, same well, goal. Don't don't pray. You don't pray. You, you don't pray enough. Sure. Drugs to people. You don't pray enough. I don't okay, pray. But enough. I'd rather nothing. have their drugs than go to the priest. I'll tell you that yeah. right now. Yeah. Especially if you're a little boy, you know what I mean? So you exactly. know. But no, I mean, like, no, but, okay, so that maybe clergy is a bad idea, but it's kind of like today for every problem we give drugs. Nobody really talks anything out. When I was a kid, it was like every every that's kid should be on riddle. Psychiatrist though. Well, psychiatrist. yeah, that's. But I'm saying I don't. That's why I don't believe in these professions. Just write them a prescription. No, why don't you actually talk to them and help them? Not everybody as is um have that you know as an imbalance. Not everybody is you know is whatever and i'm just like stop with the drug yes yeah, but most of them give you a drug like if you go see a psychologist and told me having any kind of feeling, can give you a drug because they're a medical professional a medical doctor the what's a psychologist then medication for you psychologists, psychologists, psychologists just is... listen to you as a counselor or they okay. have training in so that you should medicine. go there then not yeah, a psychiatrist. You, but you need this this too do you yeah. know sometimes Look, this is also a manifest externalization of uh, yeah. imagination because this 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 is around the topic that we have also. The yeah. people that I have Adam like, that keeps uh, trying to pull us back to the topic. He's imagination so yeah, it's, it's, like, it's about imagination. Way over everything. here, and Adam's like, yeah, <laughs> no, but it's true. But it all ties together to your imagination because. If you, if you imagine that you don't feel good or you need to talk, then you have to go do that, right? So it really does become part of your imagination. Your imagination then guides you, it's all in your whether head. it's your creativity, your manifestation, whatever you're going to do in your real world, your imagination, I think, kind of gets you A through Z. Not magical thinking, but the re the real part of it is gets you A through Z, which I, I, I agree with them. But yeah, so it's all part of it. So if I go see a psychologist for something, because in my imagination, which is then goes through the rest of my body and my mind. Yeah, so and if you if you have sick imagination, yeah. that means right. that you already uh, yeah. that you're imagining bad things all the time. Yeah. That's already a problem. Yes, that's true. You see, that's why that. you go to those uh, psych those to the specialists that drugs, will try sure. to <laughs> explore your sick imagination. Where where does it come from? Because it comes and, from. And then they write a movie and make a lot of money. So there you go. <laughs> they write, they write well, a book. Everybody tries to make a lot of money with any kind of. Uh, that's the world we're living in. That's true. That's, that's true. I like the show on imagination. I'm glad we figured out the difference between imagination manifestation it's it's, it's it's part of imagination imagining that the that the money will solve all up all our problems well, it's that's also true, right kind of thinking it's kind of does solve all your problems. Does. if i had two millions <laughs> all my problems will be gone well it, no two million doesn't you get do the two million and yeah. you have solved a lot of problems but new yeah. problems were alive no, no, there's no new problems or you know no, no. when you have that kind of money just so you're aware we have people that deal with our problems i have no problems everything is good I have people that deal with my problems. They tell me the end result. And if I don't like that, because we're so rich, we're allowed to um, take you out back and shoot you. Well, like good luck with this kind of thinking. <laughs> good luck. It's like the penguins in Madison. Good like luck penguins thinking in Madison, that Madagascar. money will, will solve all your problems. Good Listen, luck with it's, that. It's, I don't know if you ever saw Madagascar. Money will solve Madagascar. some of the problems and will amplify other. Nah, there's amplify. no problem with money. Just remember, Those which you'll you'll not you'll not be able to solve with money, and this is yes, the everything the is solved with money, 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 no. and sex. Those are the two no. things, and scotch and no. cigars. I As the penguins so. in Madagascar no. said, you cannot buy rich, real the laws of physics. You cannot buy real no. love. I mean I that you're in love. You know, uh, who, cetera, that's cetera, just, cetera. I have a dog. That's such. So what? what, what? You need a dog for even even the dog even the dog to love you. I mean to have yeah. a good relation. You need to have a good. We spend time. I mean quality. We time, do. We spend quality time hey, together. Dog, I take, take fifty everywhere. euros now and leave me alone. Go <laughs> well, spend it somewhere. I do that to her. And love me. And love me. No, go, the dog needs you know? caress, love. I, no, I, I do love. that. I pay someone to do that, but it's the well, same. Well, he loves the the other one that is being paid. She gives me every day. Right, right. When I pay the other person, they give her loves and hugs. This is the same. The same with the kids. You can have kids. You're very rich, whoa, and you whoa, pay whoa, some whoa. other people I to raise your kids. Those. Yeah, okay. They are raised, Thank God. but they are don't have kidding? parents. They don't have real love, and then That's they, they, they develop problems because mental if I had problems them, because they don't have what they need. Right, but if I had children, they would want me dead because I would be very strict. 
I would love them. To now the you use imagination to for some kind of uh, projection of the oh, future. He's I don't imagining know. it. That's true. Of no, course. No, 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 no. I can never That's have. That's why I, I tell you that I, imagination listen, plays yeah. a role all I, the time. No, I agree. I, I know how I would be as a parent. And if I had a daughter, I, she, I would make her like Vicky. She would be a virgin until she's 70 and wear a chastity belt and have like two bodyguards with her. That's why she, you know, Vicky's like, I'm pure. Um, so, <laughs> but I mean, granted, you know, when she gets divorced, he'll still, he'll still be a brother. But anyway, but the point of it is, is that that's the thing. It's like, I know how I am and I know that I'm selfish and I know these things about me. So I know what I should and shouldn't do. And I don't need my imagination. I just know me. So there you well, go. You, uh, either you need, either you don't need imagination, it will right, uh, come up like this. You, you don't yeah. control it. If you think you're controlling I imagine, something, I, I, I think you're imagining you things. <laughs> you're controlling a tiny part of your life. Yes, I agree. I mean, I mean you, you're trying to control what life gives you, offers you, because you go out, right. oh, it's raining. Do you control it? You don't control it. There's fluid. Mm. <laughs> do you control oh, the fluid? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, or the earth? Yeah, there was a gap of one okay. second. You, you didn't understand. It it Vicky thinks that's the funniest thing. I, Next week's show, all about fluid. <laughs> so, there you go. So, uh, well, guys, this was a lot of fun talking about imagination and manifestation and imagination. <laughs> Imagine oh, all yes, the going. people. I do. I imagine the Beatles Ooh, making billions of dollars. Song. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Tito yeah. Jackson died today at 70 years old. For those yeah. people that remember the Jackson 5, Tito was the guitarist. He died today at 70 years old. So Oh, Jackson our, 5. Our, so the second yeah, one. Jack, think, our, yeah, so our, our condolences to the Jackson family. Just really quick, I thought I'd throw that out there. The he second one or the third? I guess he died yesterday. From Jackson's. That Tito, Tito was 70 years old. I'm not sure where he is in the lineage, but he, he passed away today. <laughs> So I don't I don't know where he was with Michael he, and Janet and um, he has become the and, universe. Yeah, so now he's part of the absolute with his with the Michael. There you go. The imagination and, of his life yeah. has come to an end. Now and there you go. Probably oh, the show. he belongs oh. to a different kind of imagination. He's, he's a different somewhere else. But I just want to let people know we're topical and live. So there you go. Don't think maybe, that. maybe our lives is imagination yeah. of something it could be could you imagine if you were just imagining we were this in. i think could that yeah imagine? it might be it might be the case but in a way I that we're in we the cannot matrix. understand i think we're in a simulation <laughs> even if we're a matrix we're simulation. imagining Inception. all this thing and... by the way next week you know what we should talk about not the big bang theory but there's a new theory called the universal um the universal the universal time theory which is that the universe just goes in circles that's a, and we should have that dialogue because that'll make big, Vicky's brain go, and that'll be fun. So. I can imagine yeah. my brain exploding. <laughs> sure you can. <laughs> anyway, everybody, thank you for watching on this beautiful Monday morning. We will be back next Monday. Adam, are we back next Monday or do you have some art thing or you're traveling? I, think, I don't know. I think that uh, we'll be. Okay, we'll be back. And Vicky will be here and then and, and soon you're going to be in Korea. It'll be nighttime where you are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't be so. so I'll be here next week anyway. Yeah. After that, uh, yeah. we'll see. There's, I'll there's be here next week. After that, uh, we'll, see. Yeah. we'll see. Is that because you'll be in Korea? Yeah. For three months? Okay. We you have to see. It. If it's live when we record now, it's too late there for me to do it. So we'll. we'll really? When we start the live show, it's too late? Yeah. Because I can't, I can't make noise past a certain time. So I'd have to. You can't speak? They won't let you speak. I mean, I could talk real soft. Okay. Well, then for some fans, they may really like that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh. I have to restrain myself, A, not to laugh, and B, not to yell yeah. at Steven. So, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll, that'd be a really fun show for me. So, I'm going to say tons of stuff. <laughs> anyway, He's like, everybody, yes. thank you for watching. You can catch us live every Monday. The rebroadcast is on Tuesday, and you can get the podcast wherever you get your podcast by looking under Two Old Farts Making Noises, Adam on the Eve. Um, and you can listen to the podcast if you don't want to look at our beautiful faces. And you can hear us talk this week about imagination, manifestation, and magical thinking. As always, Adam, it's a pleasure to see you, my friend. Vicky, it's always good yes, to see you. Of course you do. All the fans love you. I'm not kidding. Anytime Vicky's on the show, our, our ratings go skyrocketing. And when it's just Adam and I, I or David, nobody cares. So there you go. Gotcha. So, and we'll see right, like pretty week. girls. I right, sure. Who doesn't like a pretty girl? So I can imagine that no one. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to manifest one and then magical think it. So, oh, bye. I, I don't Let's really care about pretty week. girls, but uh, that, you know, you hey, 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 I, I watched that one show where you and Rachel Only discussed one. About pretty girls. That was so, Rachel, yeah. not me. Oh. Rachel was on the okay. TikTok. Anyway, All right, well, we'll have a talk about bye. that one day. <laughs> All right, kids. Cheers. <laughs> bye bye.